Alright, and we are back with the Sunless Sea. Last we left off, I remember my ship got a bit wrecked. Like, I didn't get ship wrecked, but I got wrecked. And I went back to London, and I think it was a short episode. Oh yeah, and my whole stupidly full wolf stuff that I can't control. Like, I can. Like, I want to... Like, go pay the passage to, to the tomb colony, sell them there. Oh, that's not how this works. Uh. Either way, uh, what I did forget though is that I need to get a few more crew. So, London. And, yeah. I can afford this. Last one, Terror. Three crew. And nine will work. Last, study Echo. Anything else? I don't think so. And do I have recent news? I think I do. What can I see that? Oh yeah, here. Recent news. Yeah, okay, so I'll be checking out the sisters again. Hoping that the place hasn't spontaneously combusted. Oh, and I wanted to talk to you one more time. See what he wants, because I forget what place it was called. Hmm. Wait. This is a port, and we'll be interested, blah, blah. Wait. But this isn't the one which he's mentioned. What place has he... Did he ask me to go specifically? Wait. Great. Okay, whatever. I know that it's a place that's not far from where I am. And... Like, give me a second. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Well, oh wait, wait. You see, receive strategic information from Gator's Morn in the Kozel's Forest. Okay, Gator's Morn, Kozel's Forest. Somewhere not far from home waters. Thank you. Okay. So, I'm going to go and check down here. Because this is the only place where I think it could be. And I want to get those tomb colonists off my boat as soon as possible so that I actually have a hold again. So, launch I go. Oh yeah, yeah, but first I'm going to check out the sisters again. Once again, hope that the place hasn't spontaneously combusted. And just walk out, walk it out from there. I'll turn off my light for the moment. I don't even gain tower here even with my light off, so there's really no point. And I should be able to reach Hunter's Keep without really needing to turn it on. So... Hmm. Okay, it is increasing now, though. Anywho. Oh, and I was going down again, probably because I'm close to Hunter's Keep. Because this is the safest place ever, you know, before it explodes. Either way, I'm here now. Fuck. Not receiving visitors. News, news. I'll do this one as well, but news, news. Cool. You see. Whoa, wait, what? Oh! Oh, joy. That was dumb. Ugh. Ah, ba 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 ba. I'd rather not get the supplies. That bites. I didn't think of that. Oh well, I should have let my. F then again, it also used up the hunger. Yeah, it was still worth it, but it's a little bit annoying to have to toss stuff overboard. I'm only at 17 towers, so that's always nice. Anything else? I still need to visit here. And I kind of forgot where I need to go for that, but whatever. Now I'm launching. And yeah, okay. I'll go downwards. Visiting the station has no reason to do so whatsoever. I'm going to ignore that. Aside from that, let's just go in this direction. And hopefully we'll find some good things soon enough. What are my secrets at? Eh, I probably have enough to talk to some of these things. Hmm. Shepherd's Wash, the salty hinterland of London. Home, of, home to hermits, nuns, and shadowy business. Wait a second, what? That's over here. Whatever. Here's the station, that's entirely useless for me to go to. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even gonna bother. I might next time, but not this time. Whatever I need to go there, I don't have it yet. So I'm just gonna ignore it. And, okay, just keep going in this direction. Oh yeah, yeah, duh, the sea bat. Okay, anything? 
No, I'm just gonna keep using it then. So something shows up. What is that? Big Woods. Oh, Mountain Island, Quaco's Haven. Okay, I still don't feel like messing with it. Just wanna keep going down wood. I want to make sure that I'm close enough to spot it whenever I am close enough to whatever next new place there is. I'll start going in this direction. Don't know islands. Okay. Oh, Pigmola Island. Okay. Guess I'm heading there. Not what I'm looking for, but... The name doesn't ring a bell, but it might just not be one that has a common name. So... Luminescent beasts like dolphins, or like eyeless dolphins, play in your wake. Huh. And whatever is this place? Have I been here before? I don't think I have. If I have, it doesn't look familiar. Ingo Island. What's the dock? No whether I can see. Uh, oh, there it is. Cool. I'm heading in that direction. Oh wait, and what was that dock to the left of me? Or oh, was the island place? Whatever. Let's see. Dubious Maelstrom. I mean, no islands within range. Does the port not have a name? Oh. Really? Seriously? Whatever. We turned him to the hold. Lost another supply. Okay, Saints Haven. So the port did have a name. And we are here. Two houses, both alike in dignity. On a lonely desert beach. There is no habitation in sight. No market. Only an old rotting dock. A stretch of sand thickens into damp black earth, from which sprout stunted palms? Not quite. Tall fungal growths with frowned like caps, as if someone had sculpted the idea of a tree from a mushroom. Disembark, see what awaits you. Huh. What? As you step on the quay, you hear clamor, shouts, and shooting. You can see off in the distance. Whenever I said disembark, I thought it meant like there's nothing here, so leave. <laughs> Off in the distance, smoke rising from be beyond the hill, and dots of fire flecking the horizon. Two tiny figures stand a little further down the quay, unmoving, as if awaiting your approach. A literary interlude. The following is an extract from the popular diary of a sea captain from London to Iram and what did and what we did there before we arrived. Washed ashore on Mutton Island and subsequently serialized in the unexpurgated Gazette. The author's identity remains unknown. What's the point of this? The tale of Pigmote Ow, in which a delegation is made, a choice is presented, war is declared, a most singular treasure is sought by all, and a new empire is founded with tooth and claw. Chapter 1, The Delegation. What is the point of this? Huh, this is interesting. The figures were rodents. To my left was a rattus faber, wearing goggles, a blacksmith's apron, and an assortment of tools. To my right, an unusually large guinea pig, wearing a helmet and a breastplate, reminiscent of nothing so much as the high middle ages. The rat stepped forward first and bowed. Welcome, Captain, the rat star island, to Rat Star Island. I am Edgar, second ch chief engineer of the third rat brigade. I invite you to avail yourself of food and fuel at our expense. The only cost to you is a choice. The rat stepped back at precisely the same moment, with what appeared to be the ease of long habit. The guinea pig scuttled forward, made a declamatory chirp. Welcome, Captain, to the Owl of Cavia. I am Lady Augusta Devrax Swinch of the Blackwater Swinches, Senechal to our King Grace. Nah. First of his name. First of his name. I invite you to avail yourself to food and fuel at our expense. The only cost you is a choice. Ah. Huh. Okay. You two stood at attention, looking at me expectantly. Ah, oh, so I wasn't just reading a book. Okay, second chief engineer. So, the rat is an engineer. And the other one, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so it actually calls him Chief Engineer. The two remarkable rodents sat, squatted, both seeking my support. I knew I had to choose carefully. I spoke to the Chief Engineer. His eyes had a wide, cold glint to them, and he wore his scars like jewels. I spoke to the Senate show. How did an armored guinea pig manage to look wiggle? 
I'll admit, I kind of like this one better, but I like guinea pigs more, and I don't need a chief engineer. So, and I was ready to make my choice. I had heard more than enough. Wait, what? Huh. I'm going to go with this. A knight out of habit, the seneschal cleared her throat with a delicacy to rival the duchess. The duchess's own speaking, her own before speaking. Grace nod, the king, our lord and sovereign. Full seven months had sojourned on the sea, conquered this land, and won the southern main. Now no fortress against him shall remain, no city walls be left for him to gain. Save the rats that squeak behind mountain, unlikely was the lamb of our deliverance. Assured shall be our glories in the fall, when our lady's eye restored be to, all, be to our hall. The, the Senate child composed herself, then added, We saw truth and beauty by the light of our lady's eye on Mount Caveat. But the rats, with the guns and the chatter and the peasants' politics, stole it from us. We will subjugate them and take it back. They are a rabble, and we will rule them with the steel shard velvet of our paws. Will you join us? Okay, so I get to talk to both first. Cool. A rat in the making. I asked the chief engineer to elaborate. He looked at me for a long, measured moment before speaking gruffly. We came to this island to make a home for ourselves away from London. It's cats and snuffers. It's rat skin suits. We came to live as citizens of our own republic. We came with our tools, our teeth, our clever hands. And we made a beautiful city by the light of the rat star that shone bright and blue on Mount Ararat. The chief engineer nodded toward the distant hill. One day we braved the depths of the chicken woods. And from atop of Mount Ararat, we plucked the rat star to be our light, our beacon. But the pigs of Cavies saw the light and they lusted for it. They sent armies to rule us and steal our star. We will not permit them to take what is ours. We will resist to our last breath. Will you join us in defeating them? Oh, joy. I guess I'm ready. I sided with the chief engineer. I attempted to broker a peace. I favored the seneschal. He seemed grumpy but honest. Also, I knew all too well what rat made weapons can do. Was it her charm or her fondness for London's rat ratskin coats that swayed me? Perhaps a little of both. At any rate, I was keen to find more, out more about the civilization. Surely the commonalities were more numerous than the differences. Perhaps I could help them get along. Uh, alike in dignity, as you may, can well imagine, I faced quite a dilemma. The red eyes stared up at me, waiting for my choice. Jeez. I don't want to make this choice. I would really rather broke a piece, but I'm pretty sure going down the middle here is going to result in, the, like, nothing. Like, for me. Like, it's just going to get them both mad at me, and, like, nothing's going to happen. So. Uh, okay, they claim they were here for, first. The rats kind of make it sound like the, the, these guys were here first. But these guys sound more like jerks. Like, these guys talk about ruling them, and they're talking about they just want to be alone. Ah. Uh, I'll admit, I like the fact that they're a knight. That is a guinea pig, well I don't know what this guy is, and the simple fact that I don't need another chief engineer is the reason why I'm going to side with the guinea pigs. I kind of would rather side with them like Morley, but I don't think that either of them is fully right or wrong. It's very marginal, so I'd rather see what happens with this storyline. A friend to KVs. I bowed to the sinistral who purred with pleasure while the chief engineer gnashed his teeth but kept his distance. You have chosen wisely, Captain, said the Senechal. Come, and, I'll, and I will explain our situation to you in greater detail. The current, your memoirs, a knight out of habit quality, is now you chose the cavies. It reminds me of the punies and the jabbies from Paper Mario, a Thousand Year Door. <laughs> like the war, and even their names. Their names are the cavies. Like, it's really similar. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, wow! Wow, I like it already. I really do like this. A Night Out of Habit, Chapter 3. The Senate Charles led me to the southern... Like, this is a really weird story. I definitely wasn't expecting this whenever I came here. Like, it's doing it like, by chapters. Like, as if I fell asleep on this island and I'm in this book. Okay. Moving on. The Senate Charles led me to the southern side of the island, skirting the chicken woods. We passed through a number of raised mounds of earth mixed with fortifying strips of mushroom flesh, which I supposed to which I supposed to be makeshift walls. The sediment was dazzling. The side of the island appeared to, appeared to be absolutely wreathed with skintalac. The cavies dwelling was awash with silver phosphorescence. 
It was a large colony. Most noticeable was the steam pinnace, the impossible lamb that had run aground, from which cavies, cavies, whatever, came and went, bearing supplies. To the right of the ship, farther down the beach, a large group of cavies lay on bundles of colorful cloth. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whining and wailing as if in pain. To the left of the ship was a ramshackle tent of poles and linen in which, in, like, in which a, in front of which guinea pigs clashed against each other and sharpened their teeth. Oh, cool! They fight with their bodies, not like swords or something, or like with their teeth. In the center of the village was a covered dais, but it, but it, like, veritably festooned with colorful cloth and guarded by well-decorated knights. I suspected this was where King Grace not kept counsel. Be welcome, Captain, in the kingdom of Cavia, capital of our isle and blessed by the light of Our Lady's eye. The Senate child spoke solemnly, but with a hint of sadness to her words. Or so it was, and shall be again. I must speak with our king and prepare your arrival. My page will show you the area and bring you in sight of his splendor. In good time, Paige. Uh, Paige! A, a much smaller guinea pig, its fur braided with a slender strip of parabola linen scurried over and bowed. The senator took a leave. leave. I visited the hospital. Were those guinea pigs quarantined? I visited the steam pinnace on the beach. Was this indeed the impossible lamb? Wasn't it reported overrun by rats? I visited the barracks. What chance could guinea pigs stand against the weapon might of the rat's favor? Yeah, because I have seen those weapons. I had seen enough. It was time for my audience with the king. I'll probably be able to, to visit all of these places, but I'll visit the barracks first. Jeez! Wait, no, no, no. All of this stuff is stuff that I've already read. Okay, thank you. Shh! <laughs> this has a lot of text. <laughs> okay, evening the odds, the page led me to the barracks where the, king, where the knights didn't deign to speak to one so undecorated as I. The page, however, was eager to answer my questions. The rats have no weapons, none to speak of. What is a gun without a bullet? A sword without a blade? Owls are the supplies, the knives, the soft stuffs, and the glory. Their teeth are sharp, it is true. While ours, the page hesitated as the knights gl glowered at him, are sharper. All praise to the flowers of the house of Cavi. Our knight... Preened, or one night preened while another grunted indifference, working a whetstone along its top front teeth. As I watched, a particularly vigorous swipe knocked a whole incisor out of place. It landed on the ground in a black and bloody mess. The knight gasped, grasped the tooth, and vanished from sight. Another glared in a way that dared me to make something of it. Ah! Huh. Interesting. That's probably really bad for them. Okay, visit the hospital. The fact that all of this tech shows up every time is bothering me. The Black Death. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, they are fighting rats. An elderly-looking cavy greeted me, eyeing me gravely. Many of us sickened during the voyage. A warning in our teeth, a weakness in the flesh. This owl was our salvation. The stronger among us made a pilgrimage towards the pool of Our Lady's Light, and then, miracle of miracles, they were cured. They bathed in her, they drank her sweet waters, and the strong brought the weak to her in turn. Soon we were thriving again, bearing our children, and raising them to love Our Lady's eye, and see it, and see in it our deliverance. The elder looked sorrowfully at the sick under his care. Since the rat stole her, the sickness has returned. All this light is but a mockery of hers, and we gain from it no benefit. The only thing the elder's ears and voice flattened in a hiss that helps our condition is the flesh, the very hearts and livers of the rats who, who stole her from us. Oh, they are not happy. They visit the steam pinnace on the beach, the impossible lamb. A chalky shore. The page chittered while I inspected the vessel. Rats, never. The splendor of Cavi overtook this vessel. I was born here, the first native of Cavia. But, okay, so he was born here, but they came within this generation of, well, whatever their lifespan is, that is. Which very possibly is shorter than a human's. But all our elders remember the voyage. It was hard, they say, but we were harder. But the sea is black and unkind. We were lost in the dark for weeks, and no one speaks of those terrible times. But out of the darkness came the light of Our Lady's eye, guiding us here to our own isle. In time, we will ride the waves again. 
Perhaps once we have recovered our eye, is it not splendid? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, excuse me again. Sorry about that. It certainly may have been at one time, but I could see the hole have been severely damaged by the skin toilet grief. There was no way the cavities could hope to repair it themselves. Whatever the page said, they were stranded here. Okay, so they couldn't leave even if they wanted. I had seen enough. It was time for my audience with the king. Okay. Chapter 4, An Urgent Venture. The fact that this is done by chapters is interesting. The page led me, crouching up first, and then on my knees, before King Graysnar. Yeah, okay. The and the Senate Charles. The king was the largest guinea pig I had ever seen, easily twice the size of the largest knight in his retinue. Ret retinue? Whatever. The Senate Charles looked positively dainty next to him. We are told, intoned the king, that you have promised your assistance to the House of Cavi. This is agreeable to us, but what form shall your assistance take? I had nothing to offer but my advice. I would risk my crew... Uh, wait, what? Oh, I would not risk my crew on this potentially doomed venture. I offered to retrieve the lady's eye by force, with 100% chance of success. Okay, then. I had guns. I had a boat. I planned to row a raiding party to the northern side of the island, where the cabbies could flank the rat settlement. I plotted to steal the eye with cunning. One should use shadows to catch a light. The rats would not even know we had been there. Probably. Well, I would rather do this one, but I'd rather have a 100% chance of success. A perfect pincer. So wait, I automatically won? Okay. My plan succeeded brilliantly. It was easy enough to sneak up on the settlement when the stolen eye gave off such light and cast such shadows around the shore. Even easier to do what needed to be done when the cavies were rallied by the sight of their treasure. What follows was a tremendous rout. Rats ripped apart, boats and bellies torn open, viscera slickening the sand. The cavies took losses too, but soon the Senate Charl declared the day won. I was rewarded with a substantial amount of skin plaque. I saw to my surprise that the cavies had spelled a number of the rats' children. They were and were and rounded black and were rounding them up. I commented favorably on this, praising the Senate Charles high minded mercy. The Senate Charles chittered pl pleasantly, my, my dear captain, be assured that we shall treat them very well, but it is hardly mercy that motivates the preservation of an enemy's livestock. A small rat, rat wept quietly over a parent's severed torso before being prodded and pressed into much. Yeah, I kind of wish we didn't have to do that. Like, pretty heavily, but I didn't have much of a choice in terms of percentile chances. Nikons, your pink moat owl spear quality is now three, conflicted. Oh, yeah, I am conflicted. Oh, and now it's troubled. Okay. Civilization quality is now four, troubled. I gained force intellect, succeed in iron challenge. Hell caviar, Nikons, is now five, adequate. Oh, might is now adequate. Okay. Huh. Chapter 5, A Nation Rises. The rats were defeated. Caviar was trying. It's really weird that like you this quickly won the war for them. I guess it was one in a day, and they all all rodents, but still. All that remained were the celebrations and the continuation of our voyage. Oh, how we feasted long into the night. Then, I invited one of the cavies to join us. They were... Uh, okay, unlocked with no more than zero guinea, guinea page. They were reputed to be excellent swimmers, adorable enough to boost morale, and if times should become lean, I thought maybe a guinea pig stew, ouch, would buy the crew a day or two before they started eating each other. Ouch! Okay, I spoke up on the behalf of the rats. The survivors were, treated poorly, were being treated poorly, but the rift did not seem entirely insurmountable. Huh. Okay, a knight out of habit is, you chose the cavies, you have this. Okay, the wide, dark sea beckoned. We had eaten our fill and our business was concluded. It was time to continue our, vo our voyage and see what other wonders and terrors still awaited us. Okay, I'm definitely not doing that yet. I, I'm hoping it lets me do both, but I'm going to do this one first. I would like to do both, but we shall see. Welcome aboard. The Senate child, of course, couldn't abandon her duties. But she's made certain my, my request was cried out in the village square. The page squeaked excitedly and sought permission from her to join my party. I will record your doings for the glory of Cavi, he declared. 
and I'd like to see more of the world. I waited for him to gather up some effects and say goodbye to his family before lifting anchor and setting off. Now, is this a mascot? I, I'll kind of like it if he is, because he's the first mascot who's, for one, intelligent, and for two, like, he's really cool. Uh, he's probably one of my favorite NPCs so far. That, like, is at least a part of my party. He probably is my favorite NPC in my party. Anyway. Uh, okay, scholarly creature from a warlike nation, nation of aristocratic guinea pigs whose progenitors stole a steamer to escape the locked hutches of a London essayist. Apparently. Apparently. Shh. Continue. Okay, cool. I can't speak up on behalf of the rats. The spoils of war. I appeal to the house of Cavie's grace and good breeding. Good breeding? Whatever. And praise King Grace Nars magnanimity. Whatever. Perhaps the rats knew not what they did in stealing the eye. Perhaps they were only stumbling about in the dark for a light. As the Cavies were them themselves were lost at sea. The senator and the king exchanged a look. The senator murmured something to the ki into the king's ear, and he growled deep in his throat. You saw only, you saw only the front tip of our suffering, Captain. The rats must answer for every drop of noble blood spilt and in kind. We will require a great many hearts and livers to repair the health of our kingdom. Our young shall eat the old as, as is meat. Ouch! The king's courtiers chittered appreciatively at his word play while the knights separated the screaming young rats from the adults who had given up trying to fight. Ouch. Is now you could not forge peace between the rats and the cavies. Whoa, wait, what? That was possible? Uh, you have cast your lot in with the cavies. Huh. So this was a possibility. Next time I'm going to do that, if I like have another playthrough, and then after that I might do I might join the rats just because just to kind of see what all happens. You know that's if I do that many playthroughs. It's going to the more times I die, the harder it is to get it is going to be to get me to play this again because I don't seem to die easily. And like from what I saw online, people act like you die really easily in this game. And for me, it's like, well, I'll go ten hours and then die, and then it's like I'm conflicted at wanting to start again. So we'll see. We'll see. Okay, Dark Sea back in. Oh, come on! Ah, I want this. I'm not giving that up. Okay, the end. There, you finish your... Wait. Yeah, yeah, there, you finish your diary entry and the final morsels of delicious rat flesh. Ouch. The cavies line up to salute you as you leave the victory banquet, escorting onto your ship through the f foundations of the new kingdom. A new nation has been founded. Time passes on the Neath's most adorable, most adorable empire. Shh. Okay, and I have one of this, a port report. Oh, okay, King Moat Isle. Two houses, both alike in dignity, which isn't saying much. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping the skin tilak. So, let's see. Oh wait, no, no, I can keep that. So I didn't realize that I that I only went over by one. Okay, is this? Let me see. Or would I rather lose a supply? Now, I'll lose the fuel. I'm okay with that. Done. Do they have a shop? No, they do not. Oh, yeah, yeah. And let's check out him as an officer. Yes, he is a mascot. Oh, only two pages? Oh, that's sad. Okay. Wait. I can't even talk to him? Come on, guys. Like, I can even speak to the rat. Like, seriously. I should be able to t talk to the sentient guinea pig. Whatever. I'll assign him. Uh, I kind of rather... Well, this isn't doing me much. So, yeah, I'll do for the two extra pages. Okay. That's fine. And... Oh, whoa, I can do more here. The rise of Pigmoat Owl. Hell caviar, the Neath's most adorable nation, scurries around your legs. I, I, I love that they... How they treat this. Skintelact harvesters drag heavy bags of the island's bounty to the silos... Industrious rodents work hard on towering edifices. Some of them almost neck high, and it will never believe a word. <laughs> will never believe a word of this. Uh, that's great. Help caviar resolve a dilemma. Uh, okay, so I can't do this because I haven't left yet. An aid runs over. Hellless advisor. Hellless. Huh. Advisor, you return to us. Praise the tide. We need your wisdom once again. Uh have this. Be at one. I have three. 
Might one and civilization one. Okay. Purchase skin to lack. One fifteen, no thanks. I can't even put inside my uh hold. Cavi's Nets glimmer with f fresh treasure. Uh, ways pig moats owls civilization for better prices. Huh. Oh, I can raise it? Huh, okay. Visit the rack ghetto. The house of Cavi has not been gracious has not been gracious in victory. You cannot forge peace. Yeah, I really wish that I had forged peace now, but I also really like that I found out what happened if on one side. Steal the lady's eye. Blue skin to lack. Oh, this is the blue skin to lack. I remember seeing that I could sell that someplace. Or do something with it. Huh. The cavies got it fiercely, but there may be a way or less direct alternatives, perhaps. Lower Pigmoat Islands, ours might to make this easier. Huh. No thanks. No thanks. But I do want to visit the rat ghetto. Huh. The rat ghetto. The cavies have forced their rivals into the swamps and hold them there with a high spiked wall. Thick black mud squelches underfoot as you pass through the guarded gates. Hungry eyes watch your approach. Smuggle fuel into the ghetto. The, the rats huddle for heat, clinging tight to scraps of stolen blankets. Success will improve Pigmoat's owl's spirit. Huh. No more than five. Okay. Attempt to broker a union. High risk. 30%. Cavier will be stronger if its two houses work together. Success will boost spirit. Failure will reduce it. Huh. Assist the world in revolution. Outsider, grant us your strength. When our enemies lie humiliated, we will give you the rat star. This guarantees you the rat star, but will cost five iron. What is the rat star? Like, I'm curious about this, but... Huh. Yeah, I really am curious about this. Man, but I don't want to make things bad. I really don't. For this place. Like, I feel like I've done enough damage here at the moment. Yeah, I I'm going to just be done here. I'll definitely want to come back later if I don't die. But for now, I'm done there. I really like this place, by the way. Like, there's a place that's named after cats, and there aren't cats, though. But apparently, this place is entirely normal. Shh. Whatever.